I was doing some thinking um, and how I would, I would start. And I realized it's been a while since I've spoken to uh, ABM. And I'm looking back uh, two years ago when I was on GE. And back then, uh, integration, uh, integrated media was actually really, that's when it, it was accepted. And the integrated media actually helped save print. And media was, for B2B, was 9 to 5 media. Now, sometimes it's either one or the other. It's either this medium or that medium. And a lot of that has to do with budgets. And those are, um, that's just an example of things that I'm faced with and I'm sure other people are faced with today. For us in B2B, it's starting to be 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, using things like TV and outdoor to when it was always about selling specific um, technical benefits for the clients I'm working with, it's now about using the B2B platform to help brand. I started with a list, you know, best practices can go on and on forever. So I really wanted, in, in the absence of real time, I wanted to focus on three things that I've been, that's changed my, um, I would say, professional career since working on GE, which was two years ago. And what's been happening now, and a lot of this I give credit to my clients and um, to the agency and the services they offer, is really taking that product and finding the real, finding a, a core benefit and then building media around that benefit of that product. The other thing is identifying conversations actually take place between the segments of the target audience. Traditionally, we've gone a job title and the job industry from the client. We take that, we go to the BPA statements, we, we match everything up. It's totally different now. We go beyond that, and now we can look at what, what, are, what is each um, target's role in their business or in their infrastructure, what kind of conversations are taking place, and I'll give a brief example of that. And as I mentioned before, traditionally it's been nine to five media, and now we're starting to look at what I call after five media. We're not just looking them, looking at them as a CIO or CEO or a um, design manager or an engineer, but as a person. If our theme of the product is that it, it wants to align with safety and protection, what we do is we work with the publications. We ask them first, what do you have? What can you offer me editorially that's going to help align with that? And if there's, not, if there's something not created yet, we work with the publishers to actually create that and we can build that within the, within the magazines. And then what we'll do, and a lot of this was putting together teaser ads that were aligned to either something they already was or ongoing for safety and compliance or something new in this case and say, hey, let's build a safety editorial and let's uh, put in the make it a series presented by our client. Um, in this case, we, there was an actual safe driving award program for uh, independent uh, truck drivers. Uh, if you reach a certain uh, amount of mileage through your career without any accidents, without any uh, t um, tickets, then you get an award. And we branded those rewards. And in this case, uh, we had a tip in as a safety series uh, that they can pull out. And, you know, all of this was, this was not advertorial, it was actually created by the publisher, but we were at, there at first to align and place our ads um, within, that set, within that series. For power, um, when we're thinking tactically with this, is building like an online series showcasing live or pre tape power leaders. Um, it's sort of like the, um, the head CEO shows uh, that we see um, you know, throughout the year. We create the same thing online. Or we bring it down a little bit for the general populace of IT professionals and have them submit stories. Another thing might be in the search that the search is powered by our clients. So that's one way, again, just a quick example of taking a theme uh, or taking a product benefit equaling theme and equaling the, um, the media. So this was done for Shell and 
what it was is online is that the the target can win a chance to what they they would actually go online and and take a poll in selecting the most challenging highways that they drive on. So we turned this into a contest so they can win an exp uh, a VIP experience at the Charlotte Fall Race by go by clicking on and and answering the poll of what their most challenging highways are. And we would run uh, we would drive traffic to this on targeted websites at uh, truck stops doing uh, what they call pump toppers and the uh, what came out of this was that we would take the the most demanding highway which is i-10 and eventually consider uh, turning it into an outdoor board for example i i-10 demands and whatever the brand was now i want to get into conversations um, and looking at this is just one example looking at the decision making cycle looking at the customer journey and this is uh, an example with a high technology product uh, that's targeted to both CEOs, CIOs, and then the ITMs. And so this guy here um, has to make a decision. They have to simplify their complex IT environment and really make the best use of technologies. So really the discussion begins with the CIO. And then that CIO goes to his or her senior IT manager, where the IT manager actually, through research, does all the testing and evaluating and recommending. It's very easy. Sometimes I get requests, oh, we have to go after the CEO or after the CIO, not the middle management. But in this case, after doing some research and a deep dive, we find out that a lot of uh, the consideration phase is all right here, because that's where they're actually going to recommend the company and go back to the CIO after their testing, and then go to the CEO who's going to approve the purchase. And getting into the audience, um, again, we're, look, we're going beyond just job titles as a one-dimensional thing and looking at as many different angles, looking at their pain points. And we actually get a lot of this information from the publishers who are writing to the audience and we ask them can you collect for us what are some of the pain points and as I mentioned um, we're going after we're going beyond uh, nine to five now uh, we're looking at if radio is applicable how that applies and here's where our traditional uh, technical technology and business pub sites have always fit in where they're reviewing the information uh, to make better decisions but they're always traveling and so we have to have fine way to maybe uh, bring out the uh, to to reach them um, during business travel. Then maybe when they get home, what are they doing after work? What kind of person are they? What is their leisure activities and so forth? And we're building media around that because I think the opportunity to look at this entire um, cycle or time frame allows us to really build brand equity and also brand capabilities.